Okay, I had to pause the new Ariana Grande track so that I could sit down and film this video. <laughs> hey guys, it's Shell here, aka Garlic, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is my last week here in LA, which is super, super sad. I've been here for almost a month now, and it's literally been the best month of my life ever. It's been absolutely crazy. I've been getting a lot of work done, having fun at the same time. If you are new to the channel and you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe, that would mean so much to me. And if you're already subscribed, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you know when I bring out a new video. I've picked up and been gifted an insane amount of pieces here in LA, so I thought it's time to sit down and do a recent pickups. I'm a bit limited on space in my new hotel. Um, I hope you enjoyed the house tour um, of the Airbnb we were staying in last week. It was absolutely Unreal. I don't know if you've been following me in the stories, but we had a 36 inch pizza delivered. Um, we went to Universal Studios yesterday, which is crazy, and the rides were so, so fun. Might be going to Six Flags with Drew on Monday. But yeah, just trying to like plan my last few days here. I'm a little bit on space um, for the full outfit shot, so I'm just gonna show you the pieces on like right here. I literally have the biggest pile of stuff to go through, so I hope that you are ready. Grab a snack or something because. Also, do you love my iced water in a cup? So the first pieces that I actually want to touch on are some pieces. So I've been working with Boohoo Man and I went to the launch event here in LA. It was a club called Poppy um, for the French Montana collab. Now, I'm a huge French Montana fan. I love his music. Um, so when I, realized, when I found out he was doing a collab with Boohoo Man, I was like, this is going to be sick. And my favorite outfit from it, um, which is now available online, because I posted this on Instagram a few weeks ago and it wasn't online, but now you can actually purchase it online. And it's this feather cord. So you have the fe feather print shorts here, which I got in a large. And then you have the matching feather kind of pajama style shirt, which is such a vibe. I've been wearing this quite a lot actually, because it's just a really, really nice kind of pajama bowling style shirt. I also got the top in a large as well. And the prices of Boohoo Man are so affordable that it's actually crazy. Yeah, these are my favorite pieces from the collection and I will show you what they look like on together. And everything is linked in the description box down below, so you can find those there. This has been one of my absolute faves. I got this from, so this one top man store here at The Grove. Um, I did a little Instagram picture at The Grove. Here, The Grove is just like a shopping center with, they've got like Nordstrom, Top Man, Zara. They have the cinema. Me and Tom went to see A Quiet Place there, which is absolutely sick. You need to check that out if you haven't already. Um, and I went into the vintage section of Top Man. I can't remember what this vintage section is called. Um, but basically I found, I needed a jacket for Coachella because at Coachella, it's in the desert, but once the sun goes down, it gets really, 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 really cold. Um, so I needed a jacket to take around with me and this was perfect. It's a Chicago Bears. I know I probably mentioned this in my house tour vlog, but this is like a proper, this is what it looks like on. This was $90 from the vintage section of Top Man. Um, it's a Chicago Bears, like kind of baseball varsity satin jacket. Bears written on the back. I just love the colorway. It's kind of like a dark teal with an orange for the text. On the front, it's a really, really nice jacket. I feel all American when I wear it, so. Oh, this t-shirt is from Urban Outfitters. I picked up uh, the one on Melrose and it says Death Row Records and it has a little, oh, it's a skeleton sat in a chair on Death Row. That's fun. <laughs> I got this in an extra large and it's still actually not that big. Um, but I actually really like it. It's like a brown tie-dye with red embroidery, which is really cool. And this is what it looks like on. I think I'm going to title this Robbed and Rodeo Recent Pickups because the last item that I actually have, I was definitely robbed. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This next piece I got gifted by Paxson because I worked with Paxson over Coachella. It's actually from Huff. So yeah, and it's like a Zodiac print um, with a collar shirt, bowling shirt. It's really, really nice. I love the black and white print. Obviously, I love anything black and white, but I love the stars and the whole Zodiac idea. I wore this on the first day of Coachella and it's just really, really nice. A nice going out shirt. Next up, everyone's asking me where this tea was from on Instagram and my Instagram stories. Um, it is a brand that I've really liked for a while called For Those Who Sin. I got it in a large, I think. Oh, I didn't say the size. I think it's a large. So it says, girls like you, dot, 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 on the front in that kind of Drake handwritten kind of writing. And then on the back it says, people write songs about girls like you and they have a pair of boobies, which is really fun on the back. Um, it's just a sick, oversized kind of illustrated t-shirt, which I think is really nice. You didn't trust in me so I can trust that ass. 
shot it, she gon' count it right. Next up from Paxson, I have been really liking neon green at the moment. So they had these neon green Nike or Nike, however you want to say it, swim shorts. Um, and I thought they were really fun, like a fluorescent green. They're a medium, so been wearing these to go to the pool, been wearing these out. We went to uh, Calabasas and I wore them with my like 500s and an easy tee and it just felt really, really nice. And I never had to check them cause we share that cash. And now we pull up quick, we do the time and dash. Extra slow now, go get me some gold now. Next up, another vintage find, which I'm completely obsessed with. I got this from Sorella Boutique. Now Sorella Boutique is a girl's uh, clothing brand they sell all the t-shirts that say like girls tour on them and stuff like that it's really sick for women's wear i was with three friends who were girls so we went in they have a vintage section at the back and this jacket was an xxl and i was like that's crazy so i picked it up and tried it on and it is so good it's a 49ers jacket which is a football team everyone told me on my last video i still have no idea anything about sports but it's a sick jacket <laughs> so it's like red and black with gold um, stripes on the sleeves and stuff like that and then a big 49ers embroidered on the back. I'm seeing a lot of jackets like this, like I think Gucci just brought one out that's similar. I think it's definitely becoming a trend. I just thought this one was cool, really cool. It is super padded though, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear it much over summer. But like I said, when the sun goes down, it does get cold, so we can wear it then. Next up, now this is also from Paxson. This is a champion hoodie, um, which is in a large, I think. Oh no, I got it in a medium because I wanted to tuck it into jeans and stuff like that because I posted a picture on Instagram with it tucked into my denim. Um, it's just a white champion hoodie. It's just really clean, classic, plain, simple. Um, I'll link this below and I'll show you what it looks like on. If you didn't trust in me, then I ain't trying to play now. My shawty cleans so our runa's got me crazy now. Okay, next three pieces are all from the same brand. You know I love Helia Emile. Helia Emile is my absolute favorite. Ever since I got the pearl jacket, I've been like obsessed. That new Spring Summer 18 collection came out and I've got like three pieces right here. Um, so I actually bought this piece um, from their online store. It is like an acid wash revert color shirt. It feels such nice quality. And all the um, buttons are branded Helia Emile silver buttons. This is like my dream shirt because on the back as well, it has Helia Emile spine kind of staples all the way down, which is a really nice detail. Um, it's just insane. This was like 250 euros, I think, or around that. I'll leave a link in the description below, but I am absolutely obsessed. I'm I got hell to keep me making waves now The way I look at you won't be the same now I don't wanna know unless you count your ranks I got 20, 50, 100 Now these two pieces I got gifted um, here in LA So this is the Helly Emile um, Spring Summer 18 hoodie One of the hoodies, I've got a few hoodies I've got one with like ketamine written on it um, This one has some embroidered details here Like Helly Emile Post Traumatic Combat Stress Alarm system restricted, so that's all embroidered. It's a contrast stitch with a white hood, um, and then you've got the hoodie itself. It's a really nice oversized boxy fit. I'm just obsessed with this brand, and I think this hoodie is crazy. So I'll show you what this looks like on. Finally, I've wanted, I call, I would call this a vest, but I don't know what Americans call it, because I've been saying vest, and they think that's like waistcoat. In the UK, we would say vest if something's like sleeveless. Um, this is the Helen Meals Spring Summer 18 kind of like combat vest, and it's so, so cool. I've not actually worn this yet. I'm going to wear this. I just need the right occasion to wear this. I'll probably throw it over like a plain t-shirt because it's so extra. So it has a pocket here. It kind of goes on, so you like flap it over it's probably not making much sense right now but yeah so like there's the front flap and then you flap the sides over it has a big kind of belt buckle here on the side it's very like alex a l y x like that kind of you know how like carney sometimes wears a front like it's like body armor um but it's super super cool And finally, I was robbed on Rodeo Drive because I've been obsessed with the Louis Vuitton uh, iPhone X case, the trunk case for a long time. I actually wanted it for my iPhone 7 Plus, but then I changed the iPhone X. And I was waiting for them to do a black colorway, which they did for the iPhone 7 Plus, but not for the iPhone 8 or the iPhone X. 
So I went into Louis Vuitton and I put it on my phone and from that moment on I was like, I'm going to have to get it because I cannot stop thinking about this case. It's so weird. I, de I think I definitely have a shopping problem. It's already on my phone. I just want, I just really like a bag and a box, so I thought I'd keep them. Comes in a little Louis Vuitton box. This is the first thing I ever bought from Louis Vuitton as well. Oh, I don't even want to say it. That makes me sick. Because they have the tax on as well. It's like one, basically $1,300 for a phone case, considering my phone was 1000 around $1,000. So I think I have been robbed, basically. It actually makes your phone so much heavier. Um, but in a good way, it's like you're getting your worth because you're feeling how heavy it is. Um, so you've got the classic Louis Vuitton monogram um, on the top and the bottom. You kind of lift this trunk bit up and then this bit detaches. And then you just slide that back on and clip it down and then clap that, clasp that back and then it's on. You also have um, two little side bits. Yeah, so it comes with this body strap as well, which I thought was a quite cool addition. I should probably keep this on just for safety because I never want to lose this phone case. So then you can put it on and feel like a dad or like a really extra, like, I don't know. When I put it on in the store, I was like, I feel like I'm a dad. Or you could even wear it crossbody too. So like this, this is crazy. Um, but I am in love with it and I can't stop looking at it and it just, Puts a smile on my face. I would love to know your guys' thoughts on this phone case. Obviously, it is ridiculously expensive. Um, I think people think it's nice, and I think it's nice. I think it's incredible, but I do think it is way, 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 way overpriced for what it is. Because this is like plastic. I think this is leather in here, but there are some Louis Vuitton bags that are like the same price as this. And this is just a phone case. But I think they know that people will. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. Um, I love it, I'm obsessed. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. Um, and I've been thinking about it for a long time. This was not just a, oh, I really like that thousand pound case. I'm just gonna do it. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that, my re that is my recent pickups from LA. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Do let me know what your thoughts are, what your, what your favorite pieces were in the comments below, and I'll try and get back to as many people as possible, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.